Newsflash, the market's changed. So what now? I'm James, this is Taylor, we're the Silver & Welch Collective. Since the start of COVID, the real estate market has gone through so many changes. The inventory levels have gone drastically down, the prices have gone drastically up, and it's really created a frenzy of buyers trying to capitalize on very low interest rates and sellers trying to capitalize on very high pricing. Over the past few months, we've seen significant rate increases, which at the end of the day, drastically affects your monthly mortgage payment. So to put that into perspective, if you were to buy a $500,000 house in January of 2022, your monthly payment would have been $2,108. As we sit here today, that exact same $500,000 house is gonna cost you $2,997 a month. So roughly a $900 increase on a $500,000 mortgage, just based on interest rates over the past six months. I think it's also important to address that that's a really tough pill for a lot of people to swallow when looking to buy. It may in fact mean that people cannot obtain the house that they were looking for at a price point and actually just takes them out of the market entirely. From a seller's sense, it also means that the days of having 20 plus offers come through on a property and getting uh, record setting uh, prices throughout every single neighborhood has probably also moved on. So what do you do? Well, for a buyer, it's a great opportunity to take a step back, reevaluate the market, sit down with a real estate professional, look at the numbers, see what the difference truly is compared to you know maybe when you were looking before. Uh, if you're just entering the market, you don't kind of have that threshold of like, well, what would it have been if I bought four months ago? However, see what it is, figure out what your monthly payment's gonna be, how much do you need to put down, get the facts to make the best informed decision that you can for yourself. Uh, the reality is we're getting back to pre-pandemic inventory levels. So there is a lot of opportunity out there if you're looking for a property and, and for you to find the right home and not be outbid it um, on that property. You've got a shot now. From a seller's perspective, it's time to get really serious about the preparation and pricing of your home. The days of just throwing it up there, it's completely outdated, but you're gonna have a million people coming through because there's nothing else is no longer the case. Mm -hmm. So we really need to take the time to prep the home for market. That means repairs, painting, landscaping, staging, all of those things that help increase the value or the marketability of the home to actually get a, a good sale down with it. And the other side of it is the pricing. We can no longer just throw up lofty pricing, we actually have to analyze the comps, figure out what the market is telling us over the last couple of months and stay in line with the market opposed to throwing out high numbers and kind of hoping for the best. The reality is no one has a crystal ball. The market statistics, the things that we know, they all come after the fact. So all we can do is look at history and trends and try to decipher from there where the market's going. Let's face it, if we all knew we'd be sitting here today with prices where they're at, I think we all would have bought as many homes as possible in 2017, right? Agreed. I think the key takeaway as well is just to really analyze where you're at, what you're trying to do and the best path to get there. And also do that in conjunction with a mortgage professional and also a real estate professional that can give you some true insight on the market opposed to just the clickbait headlines. Uh, and with that, you can really plan out what's best for you and make your moves from there. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the market, where the market's going. Drop them in the comments below. If you have any questions for us or you're interested in a buyer or seller consultation, we're happy to provide you with that as well. Thank you so much. Have a good day.